All right, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As usual, it's me, Constantine, and today in the world of indie games, we're gonna be checking out a brand new game called Boxville. Now, this game has actually been released as a demo a while back and I did play it and I really, really enjoyed it. But the game is finally finished and released by developers and uh, I'm actually quite excited to jump into it. So without further ado, uh, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank the developers for providing a review copy to share the game with you all. And of course, if you guys enjoyed the game and wanna grab it for yourselves, the link is down below in the description. You can go ahead and grab it right now and uh, let's just get this started. So uh, let's just try to learn. And uh, of course, do a little bit of a cleaning here because after that earthquake, apparently some water has spilled down here. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to clean it up. Now, let me open up this canner. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. so I think what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna combining the mop, or more, more like making a mop with these two by combining them together. And of course, the game just wants to teach us how to play the game as we barely start here, and then it's not gonna be as easy. Uh, at the moment, uh, we're just learning, but of course we have been a long time point technical adventure game players, so uh, we're definitely gonna know what we're gonna have to do here. All right, there we go. The puddle is gone. Um, next up, I don't know what I gotta do. Let me see if I can try with the puppy. Come on, buddy. It's okay. Come out now. <laughs> He's still afraid. I love how the uh, puppy is made out of can. I mean, everything, every single character in this game is gonna be made out of can. Can he look out of the window? No. Can I go outside then? Use the door and see what happens. I kind of love it that we are in a box still. Huh. So our box was on top of other boxes, of course, but look at the seating in the background, though. I really enjoyed the look of this game uh, when I first started, though. Let me see if I can get the puppy to come out now. Come on, buddy. The door is open. Nah, he doesn't wanna. All right, then. Let's keep her going, then. Let's see uh, what's happening here. As I was saying, I did play the demo uh, a while back, and I absolutely really enjoyed the game. <laughs> I think I sneezed. Oh, I think I gotta use the ball to get the puppy to come out. Yeah. All right, let's try to do that. Let's go back in here. Use the ball with the puppy. Come on, here, boy. <laughs> I love that his tail is actually that thing that you use in order to open up the can. That's so funny. There we go. Can I play with him? Throw it again. Uh, let's try with the puppy. <laughs> He's wagging his tail. Oh my god. What the? Oh man, that is so cool. I think my mission is probably gonna be me to go for the puppy and bring it back. Whoa. What's with all these earthquakes though? What is happening? All right, so this is the part that we actually played in the demo. So uh, let's see if we can figure it out. Uh, can I interact with the lady? Old lady? No. <laughs> she does have a ball of yarn. All right, let's see here. From what I remember is that we gotta wake this fella up. Oh, never mind. So apparently he's gonna tell us what we what uh, we need to do. Uh, there's a clock. We gotta find the clock. Turn the clock back on. But the clock is inside a safe, by the looks of it, and not sure what this is. Hmm. All right, buddy. I'm gonna do my best. Let me see if I can grab some stones from this one. Nope. We're just checking the tree. Never mind. What about stones? No. Nope. Okay. Never mind. In that case, let's keep on exploring. Yep, that door is locked. All right, come on over, buddy. I absolutely love it that this world is created like this. Uh, everything is uh, made out of cardboard. That door is also locked. It needs a key. I know, buddy, I know. Yeah, I cannot reach that thing because we're gonna need to fill this up with water, I think. So, let's explore the left side then. Let's see here. What about this fella? Alright, so this fella has lost his broom once the earthquake started, right? Ah, look at this. 5, 6.30, 12, and 2.30. I'm guessing this is show me um, how the clock should be pointed. Can I connect this one? Yes, we can. But I think if I do turn on the water, uh, from what I remember in the demo, this thing is gonna unplug. Because the pressure is not enough, right? We need like uh, something to hold that in. So we are gonna have to figure that out. Right, what about these two? Oh, we can collect them, never mind. There we go. If I go over here, we are interacting with, we are interacting with that, but uh, we don't exactly know what we gotta do there. 
All right, so the lady here wants to water down the flowers. But of course, the water is no longer working in the hose. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we got ourselves a little bit of something there. Can I grab this? Uh, oh, I cannot cross, never mind. What about the flower? Ah, there we go. We got ourselves some petals. Hmm, the thing is I cannot really grab them, so what the heck? Yeah, I cannot make my way to this side, unfortunately. Yep, definitely, definitely cannot do that. Right, in that case. Um, can I give these flowers to her? No. And chatting with her does not work. I do believe that some things have changed um, from the last time where we played the demo, to be honest. It definitely looks like some things have changed. Now, can I place these in here? No. What about this? Let's see. Yeah, nothing we can do about this one either. Um, what I think I gotta do is, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, wait. Hmm. I didn't grab the broom yet. Alright, so this is the code. In order to solve this code, we need uh, one for red flower one. Blue is gonna have to be three. And white is gonna have to be four. Right? Uh, hmm. I mean, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Why? Isn't that how the code was? Am I getting it wrong? Hmm. I have a feeling. I have a feeling I gotta do a little bit more. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me try something else. I think if I'm not mistaken, I need to go ahead and put some water in these things. In the flowers, yeah. Because that's gonna give me the code, right? So this is gonna be a white flower. Okay. And the other one is gonna be a blue flower. Alright, so now we got the proper code. I get it now. Interesting. Yeah, I don't exactly remember if this is how it was in the demo, but um, at least now we know. Alright, put these here. That's the blue. So the blue is gonna be four, and the white is gonna be five. Okay, okay, okay. So it's gonna be four, uh, five, and one. So it's four, five, and one. There we go. All right, let's go up. <laughs> oh man, absolutely love this game, but I cannot wait to actually finish it completely uh, before we do anything. Ah, uh, there we go, we're pushing this one down. <laughs> and this fella made it all the way to this side. And I'm also gonna grab the uh, clippers. Can I grab the clippers? Oh, I cannot. Seriously? Hmm. Yeah, I think I gotta do something else so that I can get that clipper. At the moment, I cannot really get it. So let me go back. There we go. The thing is... Uh, this old man that we interacted with here, he said that it's gonna be a clock inside the safe. But apparently there's no clock inside the safe. Oh, maybe we gotta open up this one. Yeah, this one opened up. And this one gave me something. But uh, not what I needed. Oh, what's that lady do gonna do? Huh. Okay, never mind. What about this? How do I solve this one, I wonder? Hmm. Ah, so I gotta have nine on this line and nine on this line. So that's four. I think I'm missing one number, to be honest. Yeah, I'm missing one number in order to make a nine on this line or a nine on this line. So I'm gonna have to find myself another one of these uh, elements, right? To get the uh, puzzle to work, yeah. All right, in that case. Let me make it uh, back here. I know that this guy wants a broom. He lost his broom, and that is exactly what I'm gonna bring him. And I'm gonna bring the box, uh, the broom from. Wait, why can I not interact with the menu? Oh, never mind. Ah, somebody threw a rock over there. That's what happened. <laughs> All right. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm supposed to get myself some rocks as well so I can distract her and then collect this tool from her. But first. Let me get myself a broom. Ah, we gotta get rid of her because she's not gonna allow me to do that. Interesting. Alright, well in that case, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get myself some more stones, right? To try to do this again. So let me go ahead and grab me some stones. Because apparently this lady is really mean. She's not gonna allow me to do anything. All right, let's see here. Let me see if I can grab some of these stones from the flower. 
Wait, why are you doing that? Hmm. How do you grab some stones from here, though? Oh, maybe. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to cut that with this. Oh, he doesn't wanna. Huh? What? Hmm. Interesting. Well, in that case, let me go this way. Ah, that's what we need. All right, let's grab this one then. There we go. We got a bold yarn. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with that, but let me interact with this fella. All right, so this fella wants worms, I think. Yeah, I think he wants some worms to keep on fishing. That's what he wants. Um, so I'm going to have to bring him a worm. Now, my question is, what am I supposed to do with this? Because, of course, using this over here to grab that, it's not going to work. Hmm. I kind of forgot what I was supposed to do in this puzzle, to be honest. I was expecting myself to be able to grab uh, these stones and throw them. So that the lady gets distracted, but apparently I cannot really grab any stones from that for some reason. I was really hoping that would be a thing, but nope, it is not. All right, I know, buddy. I know what you want. Don't worry about it. I'm going to bring it to you very soon. Of course, this is also not going to work because there's no water coming through. Uh, let me try something. What if... I go ahead and cut this line using this? There we go. Awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it. That also fell down there? Gosh darn it, dude. All right, let's go back. <laughs> uh, that is so annoying. All right, so we're going to have to grab uh, two elements from that spot, apparently. Not just uh, not just the bait for fishing. We also need the clippers back. Well, in that case, let me pull the rope. I have a feeling if I pull the rope, I might be able to pull this guy back up there. Ah, never mind. We're pulling it on this thing, and then I'm going to have to push this. Yeah, I get it. Ah, and there's the stones that I needed. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, and the number five. Yes. Awesome. All right, let's grab this. All right, we got the stones. Let's grab the number five. And uh, let me open up the safe over here now. Actually, before I do that, there we go. We got to see the number. All right, so in order to make a five over here, we need, uh, that's going to be a four. And with two, that's going to be a five, nine, and nine. There we go. We got it. And we also have the clock. There we go. Wait, am I supposed to do anything with it? Uh, hmm. What am I supposed to do with the clock, I wonder? Ah, the clock is saying that it's supposed to be 12. Yeah, 12 and 15. That's what the clock needs to be set to, I think. So how do we set the clock to be 12.15? Uh, in order to understand how to set the clock to be 12.15, we got to do this. So apparently, 12 is going to be at the bottom here. Uh, 6.30 is here. 2.30 is, I'm guessing, here. And 12.15, where is 12.15, I wonder? Maybe like here? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, though. I don't remember exactly how I solved the puzzle with uh, the um, with the clock here. The thing is, uh, this is not ready. I need to finish this up. This is definitely not ready at the moment. But let me make my way to this side again. There we go. Let me go to this side. Let me grab myself some pebbles. And throw them uh, over here. All right, as she's gonna be distracted, let me make my way over here and get myself the broom. <laughs> All right, grab it, grab it, and let's get out of here. All right, lady. Now that we got it distracted, all we gotta do is just combine these two together, and we got the broom for this fella. There we go. <laughs> ah, give me the keys. Awesome. Cheers, buddy. All right, we got what we needed. Oh, and the pencil. 
Awesome. Awesome, awesome. This fighter. All right, with the pencil now, I think I got to combine the pencil with this. There we go. And apparently... Um, hmm. What's this telling me, though? Hmm. Not sure exactly what this is telling me because I can't really understand the uh, the time here at the moment. To be honest, uh, I did took a photo of the pencil at the moment of the of the time with the pencil because I'm gonna go over here and try to solve this. Maybe gotta set the alarm clock to be at this time, right? So. So uh, if I look at this, let's see. Hmm. Interesting. So 5 p.m. it's here apparently. 12 is down here. I know that. Isn't 12.15 supposed to be here? What the heck? What time is this then? So 6.30. 6.30 is about here. 6.30. Seven, seven thirty eight. Is it gonna be eight eight o'clock this time? I wonder. Or no, no, no. I think it's about eight or seven forty five, maybe. Yeah, let's just try seven forty five. But uh, I gotta figure out how to in interact with this thing though, because I haven't really been able to do anything with it. So maybe I'm missing something. Uh, the thing is, what I know that I gotta do here is move this thing away so I can access that room. But the problem is, in order to move this away. I think I gotta turn on the alarm. I know you want a worm, buddy. I know. Oh, there we go. He found what I needed. That's what I needed for the clock. Never mind. So all I had to do is come on over to this fella. So he would give me the element. The game is going to take a little bit of back and forth, back and forth. Even if you've already visited an area, you got to go and visit it again because that may unlock something you did not have. That's uh, kind of the whole idea here. So, let me try to figure this out. Uh, as I was saying, we got to set the clock here properly, right? So, let me again activate the uh, time of day. Put this on. Turn it. Alright, so the time should be... I mean, am I just going to turn this until it's going to ring? Hmm. No, I just got to guess. Ah, oh, there we go. I got it. Yes. So, yeah, you all had, all you had to do is just turn it until uh, it went away. All right. And now that we got the key, we can actually make inside, make our way inside here. All right. Awesome. Let us see here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Aha, so he wants me to solve this puzzle, which is pretty easy to do. That's going to go there. Uh, we got one that's going to be straight, like that. Um, hmm. Another straight one here. There we go. Guess we can do that. Um, this is a problem though. I think I gotta do that. Combine these ones, close up the loop. Do that. Maybe like this, yeah. Okay. Um The problem is, I also need to close this up here, right? Even if I do this, I still need one more. One more. Actually, no. This curve is not okay here. Never mind. Yeah, we just got to close this up, and then we're going to be good. But in order to do this, we need to figure something else out. Uh, maybe I need this one here. This one here. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. 
that's not gonna work either we definitely need to make a loop here to be honest so this is most definitely needed this guy here and this here come on there we go we got it awesome <laughs> There we go, buddy. Awesome. I think you turned on the water. All right. Engineer. Perfect. And all I can do right now is just turn off the light. Now, what's the point of turning off the light, I wonder? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Seriously, I thought I was supposed to get me that thing, but it didn't work. All right. Anyway, let's get out of here. There we go. Now we got the water turned on, which means we can collect the clippers and we can definitely collect this as well. All right, perfect, finally got it. Another thing that we gotta do before we turn on the faucet here, I gotta make sure I put these clippers on so that the uh, the tube doesn't just spit out. And now we turn on the water. There we go, it works. Yay, and now she's busy with the flowers, which means I can't collect this. Actually, we're not really collecting that. What we're doing is just using it to grab ourselves a worm. There we go. And I think if I'm almost sick, uh, can I combine these together? Uh, no. Well, I guess I'm going to give them like that to the fisherman. And then we're hopefully going to get ourselves to a brand new location. Which, of course, we haven't managed to visit in the uh, demo because the demo ended as soon as we gave the fisherman uh, what he requested. So now, all I got to do is just chat with him real fast. Actually, not chat with him, but more like give him the worm. Wait. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Here we got ourselves. The fish. Yes. Uh, but of course, that one broke. Which means, all I gotta do next is use this one with him. So he's gonna use me to get me down. There we go. <laughs> Am I not going to be heavy so that this thing is going to break? I guess not. <laughs> awesome. We got it. All right. And we are up to a brand new area. We are all the way down to the lower level. Can I grab me that thing? Yeah, but I cannot reach it. So I guess I'm going to have to grab me that thing, whatever that is. Kind of looks like a stick, maybe. I get it now. So I'm trying to move it. There we go. I was about to say that it is, is, is not going to budge. But apparently it, it, it did budge eventually. And I think that is a crowbar if I'm not mistaken. Let me see what these guys are doing. Uh, so he was just enjoying some smoke when a fish just fell on his head. He grabbed it. But apparently somebody else came over and got it from him. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder who this guy is. So we are going to have to find that dude. Uh, asking about the dog, but apparently they're not seeing anything. Oh, hold up. This guy says that they wanted to cook some mushrooms, but then this fella came over and kicked their bucket away, which means the mushroom flew away as well. Oh, seriously, dude. What's up with all these mean people here? No, no, no. You're going to get shocked. Watch out. Yeah, we cannot cross. We got to we gotta turn off the electricity somehow. Hmm. I see a lot of scrap down here. But apparently I cannot grab anything. Alright, and a bridge as well. I think in order to fix the bridge, I gotta use this with this. There we go. Unfortunately, we dropped the hook. But at least we can now cross. Ah, there we go. So this is the guy that got the fish, right? <laughs> One coin for a four clover. Or two coins for a fish. The thing is, I ain't got any money, right? Oh, what is that? Actually, nothing. That, that's my foot. <laughs> I did find, like, a fuse. Yeah. And I think I'm supposed to place the fuse in here to turn on the electricity. Oh, God. Uh, Wait, are these fuses? I mean, they look okay. So why do I need a fuse? Ah, uh, maybe I got to place it in here. Oh, my God. We're going to need so many fuses. Seriously. So that's one, two, three, four, five fuses that we got to still find. Holy smokes. And we probably need to also fix this up. Mm. Well, that's going to take a while. Ah, did that turn it off? No. Interesting. 
Yeah, the thing is, now that I got the fuses, I cannot grab them back again because... Because... <laughs> because I don't know why. Alright, so we gotta bring this guy some coins if I wanna buy those uh, objects from him. So let me see if I can find some coins, I guess. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. Can I cross through there? No. The thing is, I cannot cross still, so what the heck? Hmm... I'm currently loving these puzzles. They're not easy at all, to be honest. Also, there's a 77, uh, 777 number here, which I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with. Alright. These fellas are telling me about the dude with the uh, mushroom. But of course, I cannot really do anything about it. What I absolutely love about these fellas is that... Oh, never mind. I just noticed that they're using this fella's uh, on the left side uh, half, I guess, <laughs> in order to heat themselves up. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Now, okay, how do I... Can I keep on shaking this thing? No. What the... Well, I'm totally lost. Now, maybe I have some money. I can get myself the uh, lucky cleaver. No. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't like it can do anything about it at the moment. Yeah, nothing. Also, doesn't look like we can disconnect these uh, wires at all. Yeah, we cannot interact with anything. All I did here is just... Oh, never mind. We can move this one. Ah, oh, we can move everyone. I get it now. All right, so maybe we got to follow the wires, right? So... I have to figure out where I got to place these things. Maybe I got to connect it to this thing, to the blue. So if I connect it to the blue here... This connects to this. It comes on over to this side... Then it comes on over to this side, which connects to yellow, which connects to here. Right? There's just so many colors and so many connections. I'm pretty sure it does make sense. And once I'm going to figure it out, I'm probably going to be like, oh, that's how it was. <laughs> but, uh... Just can't figure it out at the moment. I'm pretty sure it has to do something with the blue wire, to be honest. Which means here. So it connects to this one. So the blue transfers the power to orange, right? That's what it does. Then the orange transfers the power. Uh, let's say... Oh! I got it by mistake! <laughs> uh, love it when that happens. All right, well, there we go. We fixed up the power, and now we can turn it off. Perfect. Which means... We can now finally cross with the other side. Man, I love it when I'm uh, figuring things out by mistake. But I know I understand now how it works. That's the thing. Oh, and look at that. We found the broom that that dude at the top of lost and break. And apparently I just got the stick from it now. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a chat with this one. Oh, so I think my puppy fell in the water, and then this fella showed up and stole it. And then he threw this kid's can in the water, which means I think I can use the stick to grab it back. Ah, there's a coin inside there. Huh. But maybe I gotta do uh, some extra thing with this stick, yeah, in order to be able to collect that. And look at that, the vase that we also threw away from the top is here as well. <laughs> I love that though, that is so cool. Alright, there might be another coin around here somewhere. Let's see, so this is saying one coin inside. Oh wait, what is that? Can I use the stick to grab me the sticker? No. Yeah, it's not gonna work, alright. Oh god. Okay, never mind. That did not break. I was uh, for a second there worried that that thing's gonna break. Uh, use the stick to grab it. 
No, come on, dude. Your suit's not gonna do anything. <laughs> you just don't want to do anything that I'm telling you to do. Why am I kicking this? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm not gonna reach. I'm not gonna reach. I gotta go in a different hole. Go up. Go down here. <gasps> that's what it is. Interesting. All right, what if I go in the first one then? Huh. So how am I reaching? How am I gonna reach this though? It's funny that it works this way though. It's just such a funny uh, mechanism. Yeah, but I cannot reach the coin. I know that there's gonna be a coin in there, but I think I'm gonna need something uh, extra if I want to grab it. All right. Um, can I use this with that? No. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need that. But he's saying that he cannot reach it. And using the stick, he just doesn't want to do it. Hmm. I want to grab that thing, but apparently he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to use the stick. Uh, what about using the stick with this? No. All right. Anyway, let me keep going then. Let's keep on exploring. So since there's nothing we can do inside there for now, let me make my way inside this building. Oh, he's saying no power. I get it. So no power. No way I'm going to access that. Okay, okay. In that case, let me try something here. I think what I got to do, I got to connect these cables. That's what I got to do. There we go. Perfect. So now the electricity is not going to stop me from crossing anymore. So we got to turn uh, the electricity back on. There we go. That's been solved. Ah, oh, dang it. So this this thing keeps on breaking. Uh, hmm. I, I think I know exactly what I need in order to get that, to make sure that thing is not going to break anymore. Problem is... I don't know how to get my hands on that sticker, though. What can I use the stick with? Can I give the stick to this guy? No. Can I use the stick with... No. The heck? Maybe... I'm supposed to make sure this is not going to create a puddle anymore, though. All right, so we know that we got to uh, grab this guy's coin from here. But unfortunately, as you guys have seen, even if I use the stick, it's not going to work. Yeah, because I cannot reach it. Dang it. I know, buddy, I know. I really want to grab me that stick as well. But apparently it doesn't work. Hmm. All right, uh, let's see here. Why am I using the stick to grab it? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, you know what? Can I maybe climb on top of this now that I pulled it? Yes, we can. There we go. So that's how you had to do it. All right, and now we can grab this. Seriously, buddy, come on. Oh my god, you're the most annoying bot ever. <laughs> you just don't want to do anything. Seriously, now. What the heck? You're so lazy. Hmm. I was hoping that by jumping on it, at least, it would probably drop down, right? But, uh... Parent oh, never mind. Now we can grab the sticker. That's what we needed. Never mind. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Alright, we got ourselves the sticker that we needed. Finally. That was a bit of a uh, struggle there. So they cannot do anything with the stick. But at least now that we got this, we can use it over here to make sure the cables are not going to fall anymore. All right. And turn on the power. Come on, buddy. 
There we go. Man, this game reminds me a lot of my Canarium, though. I'm loving this. Definitely reminds me of the style of uh, Amanda Design Games. It really has something really special about it. There we go. The door is open for Club 777. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. This guy's lifting. So apparently, uh, he traded something for the thing he's lifting, right? But I'm not sure what this icon is. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is back there. Is that like his wallet or what? Maybe he needs like a lucky charm? I don't know, I don't know. Or maybe this guy needs a charm and I see he has a lot of coins. Ah, that's the thing that I saw. So what is this? Am I supposed to just play with him? Uh, what? Ah, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm playing with him. Yeah, never mind. All right, let's try to beat him then. Dang it. <laughs> he stopped me. Yeah, of course, we're not going to win this. Uh, we are going to have to reset. Uh, so let's try this again. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So if you do this, we're going to win. If you do this, we're going to win. Or if you have a line like this, we're going to win. Ah, I get it. So we can have multiple uh, types of lines, apparently, to win. Well, let's go with one here. Two. Um, there we go. I don't care if he's going to stop me there. Another line here. Got to make sure he's going to place one there, though. So let's do that. That. There we go. And we won. Haha. <laughs> Look at that. Am I gonna get a coin? Ah, never mind. I got his thing, his weight. Interesting. Uh, tower builder. Thank you very much for that. Now that I understand the game, uh, the way that's supposed to be played, that was pretty easy to do. Uh, let me also grab this thing. Oh, what am I supposed to do with it? I got no clue, apparently. Can I connect this to it? No. <laughs> Let's chat with this fella then. All right, so he needs a lucky clover. In order to win. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs. But he lost it, apparently. The win took it away. Ah. So that's why we need a coin. And apparently also this is missing a piece. But I cannot interact with it. Yeah, I need a coin if I want this to work. Which, of course, we do not have. All right. Anyway, let's keep it going. So we managed to get ourselves a stick and the weight. Can I use the weight with that? No. Uh, you know what? I think I know what I need. I think I need the weight in order to get this to fall down. So what if I put the weight in here? <laughs> I can barely lift it. Come on. Is it not going to break now? Hmm. Well, I think now it's uh, low enough so that I can climb it. Yeah. Let's go there. And climb it up. And grab this. Awesome. Why is this not falling down, though? <laughs> what the heck? Huh. All right, anyway, let me go ahead and grab this, then. I was expecting this thing to actually break. All right, not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. Ah, there we go. So now I'm going to be able to collect that dude's uh, coin. Awesome. And now we can use this to collect that thing. Right? Yes. There we go. Please give me the coin, the, the coin though. Please, please, please. Oh, I'm going to have to play a game to win it. Gosh dang it. Ah, he gave me a chip. Hmm. The good Samaritan. Yeah, I don't think we can play a game with him or anything. So, never mind. Well, can I at least use uh, this chip that we got? 
in order to play a game here, I wonder? No. Yeah, we definitely don't want to waste it. Okay, uh, in that case, what if I give the chip to this dude so that he gives me the uh, Lucky Cleaver, or more like the Lucky Clover? Let's see if that is going to work. So all I got to do is just give this guy this. Oh, he doesn't want to. Hmm. What? That's not possible. Seriously? Well, maybe I actually need a coin, not just uh, this thing. Well, can I give it to him? Try to play a game? No. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can I give it to him? I don't think we can give it to him, actually. Nope, that's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, let me try to give it to him. No. What? So, what do you want me to do then? Yeah, I wish I could grab this guy's uh, coin whenever he throws it over there, but that is not working by the looks of it. Hmm. Okay, in that case, I think I know what I gotta do. I think I gotta use the, um, the fake coin that we got in order to grab ourselves a coin from the uh, washing machine. That's what I gotta do, yeah. So let me use this over here. Ah, awesome. But... What now? Huh. What? Am I supposed to push this? Can I actually push it? No. Well, now I got both of them stuck in there. What the heck? <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Huh. That was weird. Ah, never mind. So that's how it works. All right, let me go here. Grab the coin. And we got it. Jeez, that was... That was unexpected. I had no idea I was supposed to do that. Well, you uh, you try and eventually I guess you succeed. Because you cannot really know how to do every single one of these puzzles unless you try different things. And once you do, you're eventually going to get it. All right. Hey, buddy, give me the clover. Cheers, buddy. Hopefully, this guy is actually going to be able to actually be lucky with the clover that I'm going to give him. And he's going to win a lot of coins. And hopefully, he's going to have a few to spare for me. Let's just see if that's going to happen. But I have a feeling that's exactly what's going to happen here. So, let me go back into the uh, gambling shop, I guess. There we go. And let's give the guy the uh, clover. There you go, buddy. Come on, win it. He did. Look at all the coins. <laughs> awesome. Oh, he's got so many. And he's giving me two. Perfect. Just what we needed. All right. Game changer. <laughs> because we get we changed the game. Get it? Love it. All right. And finally. Let's get ourselves... Uh, I actually kind of forgot what we're getting for the two coins. <laughs> I'm guessing the fish for that dude, right? That's what we're getting. So let's give this guy the uh, two coins. There we go. We got ourselves the fish. Alright. Finally. And ultimately, all I gotta do is just give the fish to uh, these fellas. Ah, uh, they're cooking it! <laughs> uh, awesome. <laughs> ah, and now they're allowing me passage? Seriously? We did all that just to be able to cross through there? Oh my god! I just fell down. Gosh dang it! Are you kidding me, game? 
What? What the heck is happening here? All right, guys. Well, look at that. We just made our way to a brand new location. Uh, this is really interesting so far. I'm actually quite curious to see what's causing all these earthquakes. Uh, probably like a huge human or something. Not sure. But in the meantime, guys, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Boxville. If you guys enjoyed this game and want to grab for yourselves, check out the link down below in the description as the game is available to play right now. It is a really, really beautiful hand-drawn uh, point-and-click adventure game. Uh, definitely really enjoy playing these type of games. And of course, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you do leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel because I'm brand new here. And I'll see you all next one soon. Bye, everybody.